Hey everybody, welcome back here to A Place to Heal. If you've never been here before, my name is Marie and I try to make your life a little bit healthier. <laughs> so um, today, this video was inspired because of a post that I recently did. I, I know I've kind of gotten away from the, um, you know, the more mental videos because there's, there's so many psychologists out there and you know people that are trying to heal you on you know on a spiritual level an emotional level you know and everything else and but you know i do have to remember that healing is you know it, it's functional medicine it has to be done on all levels it just can't be supplementation it can't just be food because you look at some people and you sit there and you go okay well they're eating perfectly great right this has even happened to me um i've had some clients where i'm like okay well they're eating like awesome why do why is their kidney disease not reversing right because that's mainly what i specialize in so i get more people with kidney disease than anything and or, or diabetes or liver issues and you know i always sit there and i go well how come you know this person is healing so quickly and this person is not and it's you know it just boils down to functional medicine it's like we are completely interconnected and you know everything is uh spiritual and you know and supplementation and food and it's all intertwined you can't separate them so this video was bought on by a post <clears throat> that I made. Sorry, I'm just trying to get over this. I don't know, whatever junk is going around right now. Um, but I, I, I felt the need to do this video because we're going into a new year here pretty soon. And, you know, I always get a lot of people, I get some people that will try something and it's like, man, they heal right away. And it's like, oh, this worked great. And then I got people that are like, I'm still trying. It's so hard. And, you know, I can't, no matter what I do, I can't heal. I can't bring my blood pressure down. I can't get my kidneys to work better. I can't get that function up. And um, I started realizing that it's the biggest organ that we have a problem with is this, right? I recently made a post on diabetes. And for those who've been following me a while, you know I was a full blown, head on, in your face, numbers so high. It was amazing that I was alive, you know, A1C through the roof, diabetic. And I chose not to do medications because I wasn't getting the answers that I wanted, right? They told me if you lose weight, um, that's what you need to do for your diabetes. So, you know, I asked, if I lose the weight, will the diabetes go away? Well, you know, not always, right? Look at Halle Berry. <laughs> I mean, they don't get better looking than that and she still has diabetes. So what, you know, I wasn't getting the answers that I wanted. So I was like, no, I'm not going to take your medications if you can't give me the answers that I need, right? Uh, uh, some sane answers. So I did it on my own. I reversed my diabetes and I went back. And every year they insist that I got to take these tests, that, you know, got to check your A1C, we got to check this and we got to check that to make sure that you're no longer diabetic, make sure your diabetes isn't coming back. Like it's going to come back on its own. Um, so I started realizing even when I went to the doctors in the very beginning that it had to do with this, right? So they used to sit there and go, oh, we see here on your chart that you're a diabetic. I go, well, wait, I said, I, I have a little bit of, um, you know, sugar intolerance right now. No, you're a diabetic. I'm like, um, okay, well, I think it's just a little bit of sugar issues which you know we're going to reverse and we'll be okay all right and they used to laugh at me i refused listen if the law of attraction has taught us anything if this what you think you become has taught us anything it's that we cannot speak these words into existence once you start speaking them into existence they are going to become they have a lot of power 
behind them, right? And this has a lot of power, it has a lot of thought behind it, right? This is why, you know, if you're a religious person and you've ever read the Bible, you know, it was like, all you need is the faith of a mustard seed and things change for you, right? So I refuse, I, I'm not accepting that label. I, I refuse, I have a little bit of a sugar intolerance right now and it's gonna change, and it did. When I first started going to the gym, I didn't see myself as somebody who was morbidly obese, which I was at 350 pounds. You know, I, I would get into my damn, you know, workout pants. I don't care how stupid I looked. And I made myself look good because that's what I was gonna be. I was gonna be somebody who works out and I was gonna be a boss. And today, someone came up to me at the gym and they said to me, I can't believe you're here every flipping day. Every day comes, you know, snow, sleet. I'm like, I'm here. And they're like, man, you are a boss. There you go. It's done. I've come full circle. So what I want to get into your heads today more than anything is the way you think is going to change everything. You're going to change your healing journey because number one, everybody says, oh, you know, when I heal, when I heal, yeah, when is that? Is that when your numbers get to 8.5 or are you healed when your numbers get to 5.4 or 4.3? When, when do you get there? When are you actually healed? Because I thought, you know, I'm going to work out till I look good. When is that? Is that when you're a size 14? Because I was a size 24. So is that a size 18? Because when I got to size 18, that wasn't good enough. And Or, or is that when I get to a size 14? or 12, or 10, or nine, or eight. When is it that you stop, you know, I'm gonna keep working out. No, I'm gonna keep working out for the rest of my life because now it feels good, right? And I put this post in and this man came at me and he said, no, because I said, I'm no longer a diabetic. I haven't been a diabetic for five years. And he says, no, you will always be a diabetic. And I was like, what? No, I will never again be a diabetic. Look, if you're an alcoholic and you get off booze and you no longer drink and you've been clean for five years, you're no longer an alcoholic. So why, first of all, if you're no longer an alcoholic, why would you tell people that you're an alcoholic? It doesn't make sense right? You did the work. You cleaned yourself up. You got clean, right? So there is no way in hell, I'm sorry. I know that I'm going to get some slack for this. No way in hell am I going to go to an AA meeting, stand in front of everybody and say, hi, my name is Marie. I am an alcoholic. <gasps> Do you know what that brain just heard? You're still an alcoholic. You need a drink. Let's go, let's go, because you've gotta be an alcoholic. It's gonna give you what you're asking for, right? So no way in hell, I'm gonna walk into a doctor's office and say, hi, I'm Marie, I'm a diabetic. I don't claim that. That was the old me. Your body repairs itself every, I think it's every six months, right? You're everything. You're not the same person. I don't care if you're male or female, you are not the same person that you were when you were eight years old. That's a whole other lifetime. You know, you have changed, you have evolved, you have grown so much. You are not that same person. You know, even if you were an alcoholic, even if you were a drug addict, I was, I was, I was obese, I was everything. I know that. No way am I ever going to claim that again. And he's like, oh, because you know, if you go back to eating the same way, you're gonna be a diabetic again. Well, yeah, if you go back to the bars and you start drinking, you're gonna be an alcoholic again. Are you gonna do that? No. Am I ever gonna go back to eating the standard American diet, eating crap and eating sugar and eating cake and you know all that all that fried food? No. I will never be a diabetic again. 
I am not a diabetic now, nor will I ever be that. But I guarantee you this man will be a diabetic again. Because he's sitting there going, well, you know, you can control it. You can keep it under control, everything else. But sooner or later, you know, you can go back and you're going to be a diabetic. No, because you learned and you grew and you matured. And I would never claim those labels again, ever, you know, never again will I ever claim those labels. So you have got to start, if anything I can ask you when you go into the new year to change your mindset in order to heal, okay? Because believe me, healing your mindset is everything. It's what keeps you sick. It's what got you sick in the first place. It's all that overthinking, right? Sitting there. I see them at the gym, right? They're sitting there with their weights in their hand and they got their head to the floor. I can, I can, I can hear the wheels spinning from where I'm at, right? These are the overthinkers. They're overthinking, overthinking, overthinking everything, analyzing everything, right? That's one of the first things that, that has to stop is the overanalyzing, the overthinking, the, you know, if you're by yourself, go get some friends, go out, do something, get a hobby, anything, get out of your head, get out of your head because this <clears throat> is, it's the main component. You're going to end up frying it. So it's very important, that's number one, is to get right, right? <laughs> First, take care of head. That's, I can't even say that any better. First, take care of head, right? Because that's where everything, everything is governed by that. Number two, stop accepting the labels, you know? I, I see people walking around so proud, it's like, it's like, it, I'm a diabetic, you know? I am overweight. I am, you know, fill in the blank. I have irritable bowel syndrome. You know, um, what was it? There was a lupus. I had a girl the other day, she's like, oh, I have lupus, but she said it so loud and proud. I was like, why would you? You know, hey, my body is not dealing with a few things right now. It's, you know, it's um, having a little bit of immune issues, but, you know, I'm working on it and we're going to take care of that. That is so much more positive than staying in the victim mode. Poor me. I have kidney disease. You know, poor me, I have diabetic. I'm a diabetic. Poor me. You know, I have gut issues. Poor me, I can't get rid of this weight. Poor me, you know, there is no growth in that. You will never grow in victim mode. I promise you that, never. You have got to at some point, gotta be a boss, you gotta man up, you gotta put your big boots on and you have to take accountability for your actions. Stop walking around, sitting there telling people, you know, oh, this runs in my family. Like, that's going to give you a ticket to do it. Or that's going to give you a ticket for it to be okay. It is not okay. You know, let me tell you, alcoholism runs in my family. Diabetes runs in my family. I've had, I've had people in my family die from both. Okay? Ob obesity runs in my family. Everything, am I going to claim any of that? Hell no, I'm not going to claim any of that. No, it doesn't run in me. It's not part of me. I am better than that, right? And so are you. We are each individuals. We are each, like they say, as, you know, as individuals, as a snowflake, right? But we want to sit there and be like everybody else. We want um, sympathy. We want, you know, and I got to a point one time and I've said this in a lot of my posts, right? At some point in time, you weren't loved. You weren't paid attention to, right? You might've been abused, whatever, fill in the blanks. Cause I have yet, yet, and people always get shocked, right? Really? I've yet to work with a client who has not been 
molested, abused, raped, neglected, trafficked. I mean, I've worked with every, everything that you could think of. I have worked with every kind of client you could think of. And I have yet to work with a client that has come into my office and has said, I had this marvelous upbringing. My mom loved me. My dad loved me. I got along with my siblings. And, you know, life was a bowl of cherries. And my mom gave me attention and my dad gave me attention. And, you know, I was always thought of as the perfect child. And my life was great. I never got hit. I never got tortured. Nobody ever touched me. So I don't understand why I'm sick today. No. No. It doesn't work. Every single client I have ever worked with has had trauma in their background, some sort of trauma, where I have gotten to the point where I have done this now 10 years, I just realized I've been doing this for 10 years, where when people tell me stuff, I'm like, you know, they're like waiting to get this shock, you know, this shock from me. And I'm like, mm, no, not happening. Because I, I, like, not only have I had it all, I've heard it all, I've experienced it all, okay? because. When you meet someone who's sick, I guarantee you that they had horrible, horrible trauma in their background. I don't care if it was put there by the church, um, parents, siblings, uncles, aunts, uh, you know, the military, whatever. There was trauma there. And, there and, and that trauma is how that energy somehow got stuck in the body and the progressive thoughts that roll over and over and over in your head that have caused that stagnation in your body and have caused that illness. So it is very important going into this new year. Um, you know, yes, the diet is important, of course. I mean, it, it's right here. And yes, uh, you know, the supplements are there for that. They are to supplement whatever it is that you need, but it has to go here, right? This is first. And you have to come to terms with the things that you were taught in your childhood. The crazy, I, I've seen people not budge, not bend, because it was like, well, this is the way that my mom and dad did it for 15 years. It's like, well, just because they did it for 15 years doesn't mean that it's working or it's gonna work for you. It just doesn't. So I challenge everything. Does that really work? This year, you will notice behind me, there is not a single Christmas tree. I'm done with that. Because I got to the point where I was like, you know, and I had people in my life sit there and say, oh my God, you know, everybody decorated for Christmas your whole childhood. For, you know, 25 years, we had Christmas tree. I can't believe you're not decorating for Christmas. No, I'm not. Because I don't want to go out and I don't want to do it and I don't want to put it up and I don't want to have to clean pine needles off my floor. And I, and it's all so ridiculous to me. And I was like, so why am I doing it? This is, this is not right. <laughs> so in 2023, I am challenging everything and i want you to join me in that challenge everything that you have ever been taught challenge everything that people say to you challenge everything doctors tell you just challenge it do it be authentically you be you because you are special. Don't try to copy the guy or the girl on TikTok. Don't be copying the next person on YouTube. Don't be trying to dress like, you know, Joanne down the street or, you know, oh, I want boots like David because you think that's what makes you cool. You think that's what makes you happy. People are like, oh, I want to take the supplements that you take and I want to do the workouts that you do and I want to do this because, you know, he always, you always have this great energy because I'm me. Because I go to the gym and I put my headphones on and I sit there and I sing to music and I don't care who hears. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I in your space? I don't care. I'm being genuinely me. I'm being happy, right? And, and that's what keeps you from getting sick because 
at first your body is going to start nudging you and telling you this isn't working for you then it's going to be more of a shove hey this isn't working for me i'm not happy with this this isn't okay and if you still ignore it it's going to sit there and it's going to hit you over the head with a club and it's going to go damn you you know, down you go because you weren't listening to me, you know, and it's going to make you hear it. But as you're on your healing journey, what I ask of you is don't accept the labels. Don't. Don't give yourself that. Don't even let that get into your little ear and up into your little head that that made happen. When people sat there and used to tell me, oh, you have kidney disease. No. No, I don't. Okay, so my numbers are a little low right now. It's okay, I'll get them up. No, you can't get them up. No, I can. Just watch me. You know, hang on. And I used to go away and I would just sit there and I would work on my kidneys because I used to sit there and think, this is ridiculous. I'll get them going again. How hard can it be? I mean, I'll just get them moving, right? As long as I get them moving, as long as I get me moving and I start moving all my fluids, the kidneys will join in, right? And that's exactly what happened. So I'm asking you to do that. Do not accept the labels and just always look on the bright side of things, right? Because that's all that healing is. You've got to believe, right? And what better season right now than that? There's no story that I love better than taking the kids and, um, you know, it's the Polar Express because it asks you to believe. The Velveteen Rabbit was one of my favorite stories. You know, it's all about believing. It's believing that there's something bigger than you. It's believing that it's not all negative. It's believing that it can be done. No matter how hard it seems, it can be done right so there you go I hope that this has somehow changed your mindset uh, for the new year you know and and join me because I've gotten to the point where I have been authentically me for uh, quite some time but man am I gonna get more authentically me in the near future <laughs> I figure I've put in my time I can now be me and anybody can follow me because I ain't following nobody no more. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for your viewership as always. Thank you for sitting around and listening to me ramble. <laughs> Thank you for your support, your love, your donations, your going into my, you know, my my store, buying my products, because I know that you can go ahead and you can, you know, I've had people sit there and say, oh, hey, Marie, you know, are you third party tested? Are you this? Are you organic? But I know what my products are because I make them all myself, right? But you don't have to trust me, but you do. And I, believe me, every time I package a package, I I am thankful for that because I know that you don't have to trust me, but you do, right? And you don't have to trust me doing all this crazy stuff that I tell you to do, you know, eating onions and 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 taking, you know, this and taking that and, and taking this supplement and that's, you don't have to trust me, right? But you do. And I'm very grateful for that because it puts me in a position to help you, um, you know, become healthier and I love that you know so I, I really want to appreciate that um, and, and appreciate you right and everyone that follows me on my private private platform and everyone that goes to my trampoline classes and you know everybody that supports me in one way or another you you are my life all right so thank you so much once again for watching stay happy be authentically you and I'm going to try to keep you a little healthier stay out of your head get out of your head pay attention to the thoughts you're having question those thoughts why am I having those thoughts why am I thinking like that you know yeah I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that why 
Why do you think you're not going to be able to do that? Who cares if people think you're crazy and you're having a conversation with yourself? You are. Your brain is questioning your mind. Your mind is questioning your brain. They both keep got to keep an eye on each other. Because if not, you know, it's it just gets out of hand. All right? Please have a wonderful and safe holiday. I love all of you. See you soon. Bye-bye.